Suppose that we are interested in a research situation where uh, people come into the lab and we randomly assign them to one of two conditions. So in one condition, we're going to have participants eat completely healthy for an entire week. So, you know, nothing but fruits, vegetables, they're going to follow all of the recommended guidelines. The other group is going to eat unhealthily, unhealthily for a week. So they will focus on things like brownies and cookies and cakes and pies, and that's what they will eat for an entire week. At the end of the week, we have the participants come back into the lab and we put them on a scale and we're interested in seeing what the two groups weigh at the end of this week. So, like I said, participants come in, we put one person in healthy, two people in the healthy group, we assign some to the unhealthy until we have approximately equal numbers of people in each. These two things right here are two levels of my independent variable. So um, my I would call my IV diet, and it has two levels. It has a healthy, you know, one group is healthy, the other group is unhealthy, and then our DV is weight. So how do I analyze something like this? What we need is something called an independent samples t-test. And so here is the formula to do that. And so if we wanted to, we could go through and calculate all of these things. And so here again, I have the healthy group represented in blue and the unhealthy in red. And so we would take the mean of the healthy group, subtract the mean of the unhealthy group, and then we're going to divide it by, um, so we have the variance of group one, the healthy group, over the number of people in that group. We're going to add that to the variance of group two, divide by the number of people in that group, take the square root. And then we'll divide all of this out to get our T statistic. And so then, of course, we can get a p-value based on that T. I'm going to simplify this for you a little bit conceptually um, because, again, in my courses, I, I don't think that the calculation is the most important part. I think the conceptual understanding is. So what I want you to remember is that T equals the difference between groups over the difference within groups. So BT between, WI within. So that's all that this formula, I'm just simplifying it down into conceptual understanding for you. So T equals the difference between over the difference within. So let's go back. If you remember back to our days of uh, the normal distribution and graphing all of those things. And so, you know, along the y-axis, we have the frequency. Along here, I have the weight. And so if we were to graph these groups out, uh, let's say they look something like this. So we have the healthy group again in blue, and then unhealthy in red, just to remind ourselves what's going on here. And so say, for example, that the healthy group, um, maybe their weight distribution looks something like this. And so this would keep going, right? Apologize for the bad drawing there. Maybe the unhealthy group is something like this. And so what exactly is going on with this t-test? So here we have, remember it's the difference between is our numerator, it's on top. So what is that difference between? That is the difference between our group means. So it is the difference that we're looking for. It's the signal, it's what we're interested in. It's what we're trying to um, create, you know, the mean weight is what we're trying to create with our different groups. The different difference within, on the other hand, is going to be these right here. So what the difference within is looking at is uh, exactly what it sounds like. So we know that every single person reacts differently, you know, in any situation. And so some of us can eat, you know, brownies and cookies all day long, and our weight stays exactly the same. Others of us, you know, we eat one brownie and we might gain 10 pounds. Everyone has a different metabolism. We react differently. And so even within the same group, we'll have quite a bit of variation. So that's what the denominator in a t-test is doing. So again, all of this t-statistics, uh, difference between over difference within, 
the difference between is literally the difference between our two means here on top. The difference within is just adding up those group variances. Conceptually, that's all a t-test uh, statistic is. So it's using, um, you know, these means. It's using the variances to calculate a t-statistic, and then you can go find a p-value in that. Um, and my courses will focus on using SPSS to do that. And so go ahead and jump to that independent samples t-test uh, walkthrough demonstration video. In that video, I'll show you how to run this in SPSS, how to interpret it, and then how to write it up in APA style. Leave any questions, comments, suggestions in the, uh, in the comments box below, and I look forward to hearing from you.